Hello guys and welcome. This is Alex M. And in this video I'm going to teach you how to use 3ds Max Studio as a beginner and how to model any kind of uh, easy objects in 3ds Max or 3ds Max Studio. No matter what version you're going to use, I'm going to discuss during this video tutorial all kind of techniques. And in this particular video tutorial we're going to model a cigar and an ashtray and the tutorial number two I'm going to teach you how to texture this scene so it's going to look just like this on a picture right now you can see it so let's go ahead and get going guys I'm assuming that you are kind of familiar with 3ds max or if you're not it's also fine but I'm not going to go too much into the details so we can see that we have the shape kind of cylinder object and another one is kind of cylinder as well but when you look at it at, at the top and then as a table which is the square object or a plane and that's it so let's get it and get going guys so open your 3ds max studio or 3ds max any kind of version no matter what kind of version you're using keep in mind that your user interface may be a little bit different but pretty much the icons and positions will be similar in any version go ahead click file click reset click yes then click file click new new all and here we go uh, it's going to load the whole uh, user interface all kind of uh, views perspective front view stop view left view make sure you have all the four uh, four views right here the button on the uh, right corner if you will click on it right button corner maximize viewport whatever a viewport is selected is yellow you can maximize it and this is how we're going to work so we're going to see exactly what what are we doing there so as you can see uh, perspective viewport is selected with the left mouse button from the selected left mouse button top and left is selected I also am going to show you the shard keys that I'm going to use It's going to be in the left uh, top um, portion of the screen so let's go ahead and uh, create a box as our table uh, click on a box under the plus right here under the create primitives under the geometry under the standard primitive stash click the box and in the top view kind of draw a box then give it a little bit of depth here we go we got the box so it's going to be our table then uh, click on the perspective view right mouse button and then with your mouse uh, roller if you're on PC couldn't roll in roll out this is our control of our perspective camera but it's not our custom user camera keep that in mind you can set your custom user camera and even create a complex a scene especially during the part two of this tutorial tutorial we're going to discuss a lot about these techniques and how to create your scene into the um, video file just like in the Pixar almost as again this is not the Pixar and uh, just in examples so box then we're going to go ahead and click on a cylinder and on top view we're going to create kind of cylinder it's going to be our ashtray kind of create a depth as you can see in the front view right here I can see the depth kind of this is fine here we go then go ahead and click on modify tab right here okay under the cylinder and name it cylinder 001 name it ashtray okay uh, then click right right button click on the cylinder and before you're gonna do that actually before right click button go ahead and click on the cylinder like this and make sure it's selected and then height segments go ahead and do three bomb as you can see this is going to be our height segments in the front port right here as again you're switching be between the ports right mouse button and then with the mouse roller you can zoom in zoom out or you can apply right here zoom in zoom out uh, icon right here this tool right here gonna give you the same uh, ability for the Mac users alright guys so coming back so we're back at the cylinder with the three uh, height segments uh, sides mm, 18 sides fine um, yeah radius doesn't matter height doesn't matter right click on the cylinder click poly okay and now go ahead and click on this icon says polygon every 3d object is pretty much based out of the vertices called vertex as a single point or vertices 
which is three, four, five points, which is connected with the edges, and they're creating a polygons, triangles, and uh, squares, and stuff like that. All right, guys? Um, go ahead and click on the polygons, and now go to the left view, and we're going to go ahead and create kind of, um, click over here, as you can see, it's selected at the top, selected the top view too. On the top, somewhere in the middle of the circle, of the cylinder, click Alt button first and then left mouse button, deselect. So we're gonna select only those uh, portions of the polygons, kind of four polygons here on this uh, 3D object, which is our cylinder or ashtray. And let's go ahead and rotate the perspective and right here, as you can see, guys, okay? Then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to select also four polygons. Boom. As again, it's going to select the top. We're going to go ahead and click Alt button on the keyboard and click left mouse button. Deselect it. So kind of we selected, as you can see, for four cigars, kind of making us space or cigarettes. You know, it depends. As again, I'm not promoting in any how any alcohol or tobacco products. I believe it's unhealthy, and I'm not advising you to use it, guys. Okay. Um, so here we go. We selected this part, and now what we're gonna do? Just going to go ahead and uh, uh, use. The select and uniform scale tool right here guys click on it left mouse button we're gonna scale those polygons so we're gonna create a shape as you can see we are creating some sort of like a shape and it's going to be for our cigars so this is where we're going to put the cigars okay here we go just keep it like that Let's go ahead and have a look at our perspective view. Guys, if you ultimate beginner, go ahead and watch my video tutorial how to create a battery. It's going to help you a lot. So kind of like that, guys. Okay, we're kind of creating some shape out of that cylinder by modifying some polygons. So this is the subdivision polygon techniques, guys. You're taking primitive shapes and then using the extrusion, bevel outline on the polygons and you're creating some custom shapes out of that by modifying the polygons position extrusion and stuff like that here we go and let's go ahead and click on top okay on the top scroll down over here at the right menu and um, go ahead and find the outline one second let me see uh, here we go outline go ahead and click the actually go ahead and click the inset guys because we're going to inset so we're going to inset an extra kind of same amount of the polygons inside of this top polygon as you can see like that and uh, not one let's make the glass thicker let's do two we're gonna click right here apply and then we're gonna inset it again guys by two so we're gonna make very thick glass for our effect so it's going to look nice and kind of beautiful design to it as well like two times okay and now what we're gonna do we're gonna extrude you can extrude or you can bevel uh, the, the, the difference between the extrude as you can see extrude is just extruding the the polygons on the um, negative or positive uh, degree as you can see but what we're gonna do let's go ahead and undo uh, undo like that it doesn't want to undo the extrude not sure why oh this is a bug I found a bug guys when you do an extrude to the pixels it doesn't want to do extrude undo this is the lattice 3ds max anyways um, let's go ahead and do the inset we're gonna inset it boom once by two pixels and then we're gonna insert it again I'm just repeating my steps because I found a bug and um, so bevel it's kinda guys uh, extruding is kinda extruding by positive and negative values right and bevel you just saw the extruding and bevel 
right here doing the same thing positive and negative values only it's as you can see it can bevel out the the cat and uh, let's do minus five and I'll show it to you like that so we will have a space where we can put our cigars and minus five is not enough as you can see it's some somewhere right here let's go ahead and go deeper into the glass by 25 maybe too much so 15 here we go 15 will be nice um, I would say 12 as you can see it's kind of sticking out to the table 12 will be the best value here we go and then click check mark so here we go and now go ahead and find the on the top our po polygon uh, icon click on it deselect it here we go guys we have our ashtray kind of looking like an ashtray uh, by pressing F9 but first we'll go ahead and select the perspective uh, viewport right here F9 we can render it and here we go this is with that without the glass material yet without the texturing this is how the glass look like and believe me it's good enough so we're gonna go ahead and keep it like that now we're going to go ahead and create the cigar guys as again I'm not going to go into the details for you it's going to be easier to go into the details because for me I'm just trying to complete my tutorial as fast as possible so hopefully you understand that so this is going to be our cigar guys create kind, kind of some cigar shaped object which is the cylinder like that here we go then go ahead and click on the modify modifier under the cylinder um, increase from 18 to 36 so instead of squarish it's going to look more like a circish anti aliased edges will be applied to it um, here we go I guess go ahead and click a right click button on the cylinder but before that cylinder 001 go ahead and name it as cigar let's say cigar as again I'm not you know friendly to tobacco alcohol or drugs stay away from it guys but just because this scene is so simple it's easier for you to learn the techniques how to do that especially when you are a beginner editable poly select that so now we can uh, work with the polygons vertices and stuff like that so we can um, edit the uh, this cylinder object uh, or 3d model so go ahead and click on right here this is where it's going to our ash will be applied and uh, first we'll go ahead and click on vertices vertex right here on this icon and move right here select right here like that if you're going to select it at the top by holding left mouse button select the object like that just only those vertices is going to select all over but go ahead and in perspective view verify it make sure it is so yep it, it done the good job now go ahead and use the select and move tool and kind of move it because it's kind of far away move it like this so this is going to be the place for the our ashes okay here we go now from vertex right here from this icon switch to polygon like that and it's going to be automatically these polygons will be selected if not let's say let's assume if they're not selected in your case go ahead and select it like so only those polygons guys do not select the cap right here in the cylinder as you can see I'm showing you it's not selected because it's not red only polygons around it and uh, what we're gonna do we kinda going to go ahead and um, I would say kinda um, bevel it out but in the group we're going to select by normal and instead of 10 minus 1 we're going to select 1 minus 1 like that um, I would say 0. Point, um, 0. 0.25 minus 1 something um, something like that this is going to be our place for our uh, ash on a cigar let's go ahead and uh, see how it's looking looking great now right here make sure you are under the polygons as you can see select the click on this cap make sure you're not moving into XYZ's otherwise you're going to kind of 
let me go ahead and demonstrate it to you you can going to kind of modify the geometry as you can see and it's not going to look great all right don't do that guys so now what we're gonna do we're gonna as again use the select and uniform scale tool and in the left view kind of we're going to go ahead and scale it just a little bit but watching at our perspective view see exactly what we're doing here something like that okay now because the cap is selected in the red we're going to go ahead and do the insert I mean inset and inset by one is fine going to apply again inset again by one is fine and then we're going to go ahead and do the bevel and bevel as you can see is doing the bevel outside right here and this is not what we want to do we want to do minus uh, 0 0.25 and uh, something like that 0 0.25 and I would say on second value uh, minus 2 let's go ahead and do it again what's going on here oh I selected accidentally selected the edges make sure you're on the, under the polygons and as again we're gonna go ahead and do the bevel minus not minus one but minus two go ahead and click the enter something like that uh, click apply and then extrude instead of positive value we're gonna go ahead and give it negative value so we're gonna extrude it inside of the cigar so here we go we're done here guys go ahead and click on the polygon again so we're going to unselect the polygon here we go this is our kind of cylinder shape as a cigar guys everything is not textured yet and kinda the basic geometry as again you can add and create the complex shape you can add some geometry to it by modifying some geometry if you don't feel like you're going to stick up with a simple object I probably would but as again for this tutorial I'm not doing that so click on editable poly and the select on the polygon now we can move the cigar let's go ahead and move the cigar and position the cigar exactly where we want it to be positioned something like that and now select the rotate tool um, by looking at our front view kind of we're going to rotate a little bit like that make sure it's on the glass like that here we go guys and um, Maybe go up a little bit so it's not going to sticking out into the glass. Go ahead and use your perspective view, guys. As again, watch what you're doing in the perspective view and position the cigar exactly where, where you want it. But pretty much that's it. Um, that's it about our scene, guys, by creating the geometry. Pressing F9 in the perspective view, you can render and see exactly what you got, or go to rendering, render in any view that you add any view which is the yellow it will render so this is pretty much the basic 3d scene right now without the texturing lighting to create something like this guys so stick around for tutorial number two I'm going to go ahead and put it for you right now at the right corner go ahead and click on it guys and go ahead and watch it don't forget to hit that like button and as again I will see you in the part two